Hey, it's the Iowa Prairie Girl here. I've been having people ask me what are those purple flowers that are going crazy in the ditch. Those purple flowers are Virginia water leaf, and they are right. They are blooming like crazy right now um, in Saragota County. Um, it's been my plan to do a video on uh, wild geraniums, but as I've been doing some research, I found out that wild geraniums and purple uh, Virginia water leaves have a lot of similarities. So tonight we're going to take a look at both of those flowers um, and we're going to find them along this road here. So what road am I on? I am on the road that I live on. I live in northern Iowa and I live on the Worth County and Saragota County line. So my home over here is in Saragota and over here on the other side of the road of me is Worth County. So we are right up here on the Minnesota border. It is uh, the first full week of June and so the flowers that we're looking at have been blooming for a couple weeks. Uh, Virginia water leaf and wild geranium both bloom um, in May, June, into July. It all just depends on the latitude that you're on. So here in northern Iowa these flowers have been blooming just for a few weeks. Virginia water, water leaf are going absolutely crazy. The wild geraniums are kind of coming to the end of their bloom. So if you stick with me we're going to walk down the road here and we're going to take a look at both those plants. So stay tuned. lovely bunch of wild geraniums just down the road from my house um, in front of my neighbor's summer place. Uh, this, we're in the ditch and the plant gets to be about two feet tall. Um, I am down on my knees in the ditch and we're right here at road level so that's how tall the plants are. They have real large leaves. Um, the leaves are lobed. Um, they're about five to six inches across and sometimes they have some brown to white spots on them but you can see that they're they're lobed here and they get to be a ra rather large leaf. Now the plant, the greens are edible. Um, now anytime I tell you that something's edible, please don't take my uh, word for it. There are several YouTube videos out there that talk about um, how to identify wild geraniums for the purpose of eating them. But I have read that the greens um, are edible either raw or cooked. Um, so that's one thing that, they, that this plant is used for. Now the other name for wild geranium is crane's bill. And the reason it's called crane's bill is once the flower is bloomed, um, the, 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 um, the seed often looks like that of the bill of a crane. And you can see here, here is one that's already bloomed and you can see this long um, capsule here that it, that's where the name crane's bill comes from. It. So wild geranium, wild crane's bill, spotted geranium or spotted crane's bill are names for this plant. Now the one thing that really is super cool about this plant and the reason why I wanted to feature it in one of my videos is that this, this capsule here that I showed you, this is where the seed is. There's five um, parts to this, to this uh, capsule here. And as that matures and dries, there's five seeds in each part of those capsules. And as it matures, it'll get to the point where it'll pop open. And it just pretty much almost just, boom, it pops open and it catapults seeds out of that capsule. And there's been studies that show that the, um, those seeds can be shot out for about 30 feet. And so that's how that, this flower um, spreads its, its seeds, is that it just basically catapults them out of that seed pod. But that doesn't stop there. What's the other neat thing is that that seed has uh, what we call like a tail on it. I, I picture it looking, looking like a tadpole. And that tail will shrink and expand depending on um, the weather. So as it, make sure I say this right, um, it has a twisting motion. I have to make sure I say this right. It curls when it's dry and when it's wet, it straightens out. So it dry, when it's dry out, it curls up. And then when it gets wet, it straightens out. And that makes that seed move. So it has this moving like a tadpole motion. And it'll keep moving until it gets stuck in a crack or into a hole. And so that's how the plant germinates itself or spreads itself. It pops it out and then it continues to move. Even though it's landed on the ground, it'll move in that twisting motion, depending on if it's wet or dry, until it gets stuck someplace. And then it will stay there until next spring when it um, 
when it uh, springs up into a new, new plant. So that's pretty cool about the wild geranium. Both the wild geranium and the Virginia water leaf like to grow in moist, rich, uh, shady places, either on the edges of woods or in like this area, which is a shaded ditch. Um, that's where, you're, where you'll find them. The wild geranium, the um, flower itself is about an inch and a half um, wide. It has five um, petals and the petals can vary in color from um, a light purple that you see here, a lavender, um, to uh, almost a, a light real pink color um, and almost then to a darker purple or a, almost a magenta color. So they come in lots of different colors. Uh, other things that the wild geranium is used for, um, it's often used as an astringent for skin care. Um, it also has some anti-diarrheal purposes and also uh, the whole plant itself um, contains tannin and so it's been used um, for that of tanning of hides. So if you want to get out and find a wild geranium, you're going to find them on the edge of the woods or you're going to find them in a, a ditch. I think they're often found um, in uh, old farmyards, which is where I'm at right now. Um, and so this is the wild geranium. And we're going to go down the road a little bit further and we're going to find some Virginia water leaf. I'm in the ditch now with the Virginia wild water leaf. Uh, just a moment ago, there was a big bumblebee here. The, all kinds of bees just go crazy over the Virginia water leaf. Um, last evening, I was here a little bit earlier. The sun is setting now, so it's kind of getting a little dark and the mosquitoes are coming out. Um, but um, the pollen and the nectar on these plants, um, the bees just go crazy for. Um, so down here in the ditch, it was just full of bees last evening. I think the bees are kind of going to sleep now and the mosquitoes are coming out. So anyways, down in the ditch here, um, Virginia water leaf uh, also has a rather large, oh, you can see a big bumblebee there in the background. Um, they, Virginia water leaf have uh, big leaves. Um, they also are lobed. Um, they can get up to be about 10 inches across. Um, one thing about these leaves that is different than the geranium is that these leaves alternate. That means on the stem they go every other. On the Virginia wild, on the Virgin, on the too many beers. On the um, wild geranium, they are opposite of each other. Meaning on the stem they go just opposite on the stem, um, right next to each other. So that's one thing. If you um, are looking to learn how to identify uh, wildflowers, you would want you want to learn how um, the leaves present on um, the flowers because that's one way to help you learn how to identify them. So the Virginia water leaf, it's called water leaf because on the leaf itself it has what looks like a watermark, so that's how that is named. And then also um, Similar to the wild geranium, these plants are also have many of the same purposes. Um, there, it's used as an astringent and also um, as an anti-diarrheal. And also, the greens um, supposedly are edible. And once again, uh, please don't take my word for it on that. But I have read that they are edible. The flowers come in all types of different um, shades. Um, it's a, about a two-inch across cluster of flowers that have some flute-like um, little. Um, flowers that cluster together and those are about an inch, uh, about a half an inch long. Um, and so they come in all different uh, colors. They're from uh, a light purple to a white to uh, a light blue color. So this is the wild, uh, wild Virginia water leaf. Um, right now, like I said, it is growing everywhere um, in the ditches here. You can't, you can't miss it. Um, so I hope you liked my YouTube video here. We're talking about the wild geranium and the Virginia water leaf. Again, I encourage you to get out, explore those wild places. You know, if you can't even, if you can't get out, if you can't go for a hike, um, at least go for a drive out in the country and take a look at see and see what's blooming. So this is the wild, this is the Iowa prairie girl out in the wild. And uh, next week, I hope to look at Jack in the pulpit or the question could be, is it Jill? And so we're going to take a look at that uh, little plant and see, um, is it Jack or Jill? So please stay tuned. Uh, continue to like and share my YouTube videos, and we'll see you next week. This is Iowa Prairie Girl from Saragota County.